foreman of this job Andrew Kingston who thinks they're the foreman of this job <laughs> <laughs> fair enough yes. <laughs> although it could be said that dad thinks he's the foreman we're all laborers here today we as we remove the seats although we did remove you removed Five seats really, already, right? Uh, That's right. Hi guys. So we're here taking out some seats, as you can see. I've got a few of them out. But anyway, um, I've tried a couple different things with um, without going under the bus, because we're not at our spot yet. We're just making it so we can sleep for the night. Um, but the easiest way I found to get these seats out is, as you can see, I took the bottom off. It allows me to get the screws against the outside wall out easier and it also allows me to get underneath with a impact gun or a grinder. Um, I'll give you a little show with the grinder now. Well, he did promise you all a show, so I guess this is it, him shooting sparks out of his butt. What can I say? But in his defense, he's not a YouTube star, I mean, he's a construction worker, so he got the job done right. I did. Babe, there's just smoke coming out of your butt. That wasn't out of my butt. That was out of my ears. <laughs> <laughs> really, like, on the road, we're actually, we found this cornfield that we could park in, and we're going to build right here. Awesome. That's great. Yeah. Yes. We looked into storage facilities, but that's for another time. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we're going to be removing the seats. Andy removed five seats already the first night yeah. we picked up the bus. And we slept in it. And I feel like I didn't eat my dinner because I didn't like anything. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Yeah. true. Life of a six-year-old. Yeah. So Andy removed five seats. Uh, he ended up using a grinder when he did it, which I do not even like holding a sparkler. So therefore it was not my jam and Paz and I stepped out, but Andy's gonna head under the bus to try and hold on while I use a power tool. Woo. So this should be interesting. You have full faith in me? I do. I love you. So Andy has full faith in me. So Andy is headed under the bus to try holding on to the bolts. bolts. Ah, I'm learning things every Nuts, day. Bolts. I sound like um, <laughs> Sesame Street. Ah! <laughs> so, and then I am going to use the power tool, like I was saying. So, we are going to document that process. Hope to get all the seats out and then start demo on the floor. And if we get a you chance. can watch our video on YouTube. Oh, oh all right. If you Peace. like it, just remember to subscribe. Oh, <laughs> you like, ready, subscribe. <laughs> you got it. I didn't tell him to say that. He's his own person. He's always been his own person. <laughs> Peace. Cause I always watch a lot of YouTube videos. When? On drawings. Uh, Alright. Let's see what we get done. And if you really like it, subscribe and leave a comment below this video. Uh, <laughs> nice work. Say peace. 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 <laughs> Since I'm obviously not going to show you 8 hours of removing seats, this is the beautiful sped up version for YouTube. But here's what it really looks like behind the scenes. I'm skateboarding. I'm skateboarding. I'm skateboarding. Whoa. 
Radical, bro. Got him. All right, let's get back into the sped up version so that I don't keep you here all day with me as much as I know you're loving past skate, skate, skateboarding. Andy and I had a discussion earlier in the day about what we do with our seats. Some people sell the seats on Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace, but unfortunately we're in a time crunch, so we didn't have time to wait for people to pick up the seats, and our bus is stored in a gated lot. So we decided to remove the backing from all the seats and take the scrap to the scrap yard and the rest to the junkyard, so that way at least portion of the seats would be recycled. And it did add another step to the process, but we're happy that we did it this way. Looking back, it would have taken less time to post them on Craigslist or Facebook and have people pick them up because we got into a whole debacle with the junkyard. Um, but it is what it is, and the seats are long gone now. We are so happy about that. So we went to the junkyard, we tried to drop the seats off, and the junkyard hasn't been there in a couple years apparently. And the people weren't returned. Right. Yeah. So we came back with the bus. No we... mom, we tried to call again actually. Right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. We did. We yeah. ended up coming back with the bus and we can't start the floors because the current state of the bus, well. I'll just attach a photo when I edit this video. <laughs> it's not great with all the seats everywhere. What we're gonna do is work around the seats and start taking out the thousands of screws that are in the ceiling. And you'll also see us removing the ductwork for the air conditioning that we have built on board of our bus. Not all buses have this, but ours has it as a bonus feature, which is super expensive. So we'll be leaving it so the bus stays cool as we drive it. So day one, day two in the books. We stripped the bus of all its seats. We took the seats and stripped them of all their padding and covers. We then started taking out all the screws overhead. Thank you, Thomas, for using screws and not rivets. <laughs> <laughs> um, and pulled down all the ductwork that came with the bus. Uh, this morning, we got to the bus. We did our pre-ride check, drove it out about an hour. Before it was Sunday and there was nothing open where we have the bus um, to a scrapyard where we scrapped a half ton of metal worth of seats and duck work and got a whopping ten dollars <laughs> then we went over to a transfer station and took that ten dollars and another 20 and got rid of all the padding and everything that we stripped off the seats the day before uh, now the bus is ready we're gonna start taking up the floor we're gonna start doing the ceiling and removing that. 
and then that way we can seal all the metal and take up any rust that we need to. So if you made it this far, thanks so much for sticking with us through our seat removal. Join us for our next video where we lift up the floors and check and see if our bust has any rust we need to repair. And like this little cutie said, if you enjoyed the content, make sure you like, subscribe, and leave a comment, which I will read to him. He will be so excited to hear from you all. We love you. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>